Oh, hi, are you here for the 30 day law of attraction crash course? Well, we're about to get started. Come on in. Hello, my most positive peeps. It is Lori, your positivity princess. Welcome to the Lori show. For the entire month of August, I've been doing a 30 day law of attraction crash course for beginners. If you love this law of attraction crash course so far, give me a thumbs up. Send me a little bit of love. Also, I'd really appreciate if you leave a comment below and let me know how much of a noob or a pro you are at this point. It really helps me to form the next lesson. Each lesson in this crash course flows nicely into the next lesson. Today is day 16. Click here to start at day one at the beginning. Each video is under 10 minutes to be mindful of your time. I know we all have so much to do. Allow me to mention the course workbook. It's free and there's a link below in the description so that you can download it and follow on. Follow it along for the full 30 days. For a quick recap of all the content we've covered so far, again, it's written in the description below. Check it out. So in the last lesson, we discussed the method of scripting. Today, we'll take the idea of scripting to a whole new level, visualization. Robert Collier once said, visualize this thing that you want. Believe it, see it, feel it, make your mental blueprint and begin to build. That is exactly what the act of visualizing is. It is creating a mental blueprint, a plan, a template for the exact future that you desire. When you visualize, you are going to do this. Start by taking a few deep belly breaths. This will calm you down and settle your mind so that you can better manipulate your mind to your own liking. You normally operate under this highly stimulated beta brainwaves. We want you more in an alpha brainwave. In alpha, you are closer to your dream state where your imagination feels more real and vivid. Okay, so you are calmer, conjure up the feeling that which you want to experience once your desire is fulfilled, intensify it, make it really, really intense and feel it. Is it joy, gratitude, relief, serenity? Make sure it's all good sensations and emotions that you desire. Bring to mind the scenario that you scripted yesterday. Imagine where you are, who you are with, what are you doing? The why and the how don't matter as much here. Imagine it in the present tense. Now as you imagine the scenario or story in your mind, make sure you incorporate your five senses. As you're visualizing, see all the colors and the people's faces. Smell the, the different aromas and smells. Is it food, the ocean, the new car smell? Hear the sounds that would be present and taste the food or wine or salty air. Use the senses. This makes it all more real. This is really, really fun. And it is either almost as good as or as good as the real thing. Once you get really, really good at adding all the details, you will literally look forward to doing this practice. Okay, you can make this story very short, like a snapshot or a little TikTok video, or you can make it as long as a movie in your mind. To help you, I've attached that printable worksheet from yesterday. It is good for scripting and visualization. So check out the link below. Your homework today is super fun. It's to try out visualization, even just for five minutes. If you're struggling, start with something simple. Imagine eating a slice of your favorite pie or cake. Make sure you add all those details. What color is the icing or the topping? What does the filling taste like? What is the texture like? Is it fluffy? Is it creamy? Is it flaky? Does it smell like apples or chocolate or cinnamon? Okay, now you're hungry, but you also were able to imagine that dessert, didn't you? You can visualize. Remember what Einstein said. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is important but it is based on the past. Imagination is based on the future, the unknown, and that is so much more exciting, isn't it? Okay, my most intelligent students, that's it for today. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video and for coming to class. Tomorrow we will continue with the next lesson. Don't forget if you have not already, click that, click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you do not miss the next lesson. I don't want to have to give you a detention, okay? Okay, have a most glorious day and AB positive. I love you.